Hello guys, so uh, today I'm going to introduce you uh, the new SRT P1 seatbelt tensioner. So, what is a seatbelt uh, tensioner? A seatbelt tensioner is uh, a seatbelt uh, tensioner. Uh, I guess it doesn't help. So it is a mechanism that will pull uh, on uh, the belt uh, basically when you are braking, but it can also be uh, configured uh, in order to, to have it uh, pulling on the belt also on uh, when on throttle and you can also uh, enable buff. Uh, I mean that you can push on buff braking and, and, uh, and acceleration but then it starts to be to, to, to feel a little bit weird. So I guess that you are wondering if it is really effective. Um, and the answer is, well, uh, you know, you can't simulate uh, realistically the G-forces uh, on uh, a rig just because you can't have uh, the rig moving as much as a car, or in that case, it, your rig is just a car. So anyway, uh, it's very hard. Okay, to simulate the G-forces, but in my opinion, in my experience, uh, this thing here is probably the best thing to simulate uh, those G-forces. Honestly, it's very, uh, it's very a very nice system. It makes you feel the difference uh, between you know a slow car and a fast car. Uh, it makes things more uh, alive, and I really like it. So yeah, it is. Uh, very effective for the price okay and you can't find something as effective as, as this device uh, to simulate g-forces so how does it work you have a servo motor it is um, an AT ST servo motor with his driver you also have an Arduino in the box elsewhere and uh, you have here what I call a, a drum that will uh, pull on the cable here and finally put on the seat bed. As usual, you will find all uh, the relevant links uh, to my website in the description. As usual, you, you're gonna find uh, a complete shopping list, uh, all the details, all the tutorials on the website, so feel free to check it. For this project, uh, because it is based uh, on the servo motor, it's quite expensive. Uh, we worked with uh, Industry and CNC to provide uh, a kit um, that uh, includes most of the parts. I think um, you have uh, the, kit, the, the kit for from Industry and CNC and then you, you also need to buy an Arduino and the seatbelt. So it's just free thing uh, to buy. So it's very easy, uh, easy to make. And in the future, uh, we, are, we are going to see if Industry and CNC can provide also uh, the 3D printed parts, so if you don't have a 3D printer, it won't, it won't be a problem anymore. Because, uh, you know, servo models are expensive and very heavy, um, industry and CNC offer for the Europe um, a shipping by train that is far uh, less expensive. Uh, it saves about 100 euros. And thanks to this, the, the kit from industry and CNC that includes um, basically the motor, uh, a copper, uh, the, the motor uh, bracket and some of the parts uh, cost uh, about three, 350 euros and then you have to add the price for the Arduino and also the seal bed so it makes things uh, a little bit less expensive. Okay, now um, if you follow me for quite a long time now and if you don't, <laughs> you can click on the subscribe button just below. Uh, if you follow me for quite a long time now, you probably heard about the GT Tensioner and you are probably wondering what is the difference be between both. Okay, the main difference is the reliability. Okay, uh, on the GT uh, Seatbelt Tensioner, we are using uh, components that weren't designed uh, for this purpose and we are using them at 120 percent some some people had issues uh, some people fried uh, some drivers etc i did not have uh, any issue with the latest uh, versions but some people do and i understand it so i wanted to design a project that would be 100 percent reliable 
And here, because we are using those cell phone models that are, are uh, industrial models, uh, there isn't any reliability issue at all. Then the other uh, problem with the GT project is that we are using non-standard paths. And the problem is that it's very hard to keep this project updated. By example, at the beginning, the model uh, wa uh, was coming with um, a 12 millimeter axle and late, uh, lately it was um, eight millimeter. So it wasn't the same parts and it isn't as easy to use. Uh, the same thing for the drivers. Uh, if you check the tutorial on the website, you, you're gonna find uh, different pictures. It's because there is at least two versions of the driver and yeah, it's very hard to keep it updated and there is also, you know, the risk that uh, maybe one day we won't find, uh, by example, the model anymore. Here uh, with the P1, uh, we don't have that issue because it is, uh, it is standard parts and uh, because industry and CNC is providing uh, all the parts that can be problematic, uh, we know that we're gonna we're gonna find always the same parts and if one day a part change I would be warned and uh, we're gonna be able to to find out find out a solution the third difference is uh, the preloading you know with the GT sit by attention and where when by example okay you press uh, the brake pedal uh, the, the belt uh, pull on you then you release the pressure and the belt will become a little bit loose and the problem is that when you hit uh, the brake again, uh, the motor will uh, turn a little bit, so it's gonna have a little bit of inertia and you're gonna have the belt that is, that is um, hitting you a little bit and it wasn't that, uh, that nice. Here you can adjust uh, the preload with the servo motor directly. Check, once again, check the tutorial. It's very uh, accurate, so you can uh, just add a slight uh, pre-op and you, you don't feel uh, the belt pulling when you know it's just it just kept uh, ready you know and and then when you hit the brake you have the belt the belt that is already on your body and will just apply pressure it won't hit you so it's um, a very important feature uh, you could add uh, that pre-op with um, with the GT but it, may, it means that the model won't be able to cool at any time and it will uh, regenerate issue once again. So here there isn't any problem at all. Um, the, the model is extremely powerful. The way we are using it is uh, totally okay. So you can add that preload and have a, a nice feeling. And the last difference is uh, the accuracy, okay. Uh, both uh, systems are working in the same way, but here, because we are using high-end stuff, uh, you get high-end accuracy. And I felt uh, the difference recently on ECC when removing all the filters. You know, you can filter uh, the signal in order to remove uh, some weird details, uh, to have something a little bit smoother. And I removed those filters and uh, it appeared that when you are on some a little bit harsh curves, uh, you know, that really shakes uh, the car, you're gonna have the belt uh, shaking a little bit. Well, uh, okay, it's not realistic. Yeah, it's not realistic. But the thing is that uh, on that curve in reality, I think that you are shaken. And here the belt is, shake, is shaking all your body. So in the end, it's very immersive and I really like it. So you, you, you can have those uh, amounts of details and, uh, and you also have the possibility to get rid of them uh, very easily. So it is also a, a very important uh, difference between the, the GT and the P1. You can have, you can have a lot of detail if you want to. Okay, I hope that you will like this project. Once again, everything is available for free. Check the description. Uh, please mind subscribing to the channel. Now I will uh, work again on the SRT80 uh, actuators. 
So, I see you. Au revoir.